Hi YouTube, welcome to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett and today we're going to make a phone holder. So as you can probably guess, I use a camera to record these videos. But I don't have a fancy camera or anything, so I just use a spare phone that I have. And then I use a mic stand that I've had for a while. And then I just 3D printed a little holder to hold up the phone in that mic stand. Actually here, I'll show you real quick. Can't show you the phone obviously, but... Here is the mic stand. Uh, say say hi to my dog. That's Riley. Uh, but yeah, so I've just got the mic stand here, and then this is what I 3D printed, and it's just a little you know little part to attach to the mic stand, and then hold the phone, and it just slides in there. And as you can guess, it's not the best. I mean, it works, it fits, but if you tilt it or bump it at all, the phone has a high chance of falling out. And if you've ever worked with phones before, you know that's not a great, great scenario. So I think we can make a better one. Let's do that. Okay, so here is the finished product. Now, as you can see, I, it's spring-loaded, so you can just slide it apart like this. Works really well. And then I've just got some screw holes down here so we can mount it to something, which I will be doing with my mic stand. And if you want to see the separate parts, you know, that's what they are. It's just a little tab here that goes into that slot there. And when you do that, these notches on the back that we mount the springs to make it slide shut. So now, if we want to put a phone in it, all we have to do, there we go. And since it's spring-loaded, you know, it, it's not going anywhere. I made these grooves kind of tapered, so they should fit a few different sizes of phone. It's like here I've got one of my old phones, and it should work yeah, works really well. And see, that one's quite a bit thick, thinner, 
because this one's got a pretty big case on it. And so it should be able to fit pretty much any phone you want, because I don't think many phones are smaller than that, many smartphones anyway. And then you can go up to about there. That's a pretty good sized phone. That's like approaching those phone tablet sizes, so it works pretty well. Um, the one thing I did want to change a little bit is that it's really thin, and as you can see, there's a little bit of pull from the springs on this part right here, and so it's like over continuous use that might snap, which isn't a huge deal, but I thought I could do a little bit better, so I printed up a thicker one, and this is pretty much the exact same thing, it's just got a thicker spine here, so as you can see there's like no flex there. It works really well. Um, but otherwise, it's the same size and everything. And I will be putting these files up on Thingiverse. So if you are going to print one of these for yourself, I would recommend going for the sturdier one. Okay, so now I have this. This is my mic stand thing here. So I can just slide it in. This is shaped like a normal microphone. So let's take it. I've got the screws already in this one. Fits pretty well. Okay, so there we have it. That should work pretty well. Let's give it a test run. I'll put this phone in just so we can see how it works. Okay, so here we've got the old one. Let's take that one out. And then let's put our new one in. All right, looks like that works really well, actually. Yeah, and I don't have to worry about it falling out or anything. So that's looks like it works great. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Nothing connected with this. I press the button. Let's take a closer look at how this works. And don't be fooled by this uh, crazy massive wires and stuff. This is actually a very simple circuit. And if you happen to have two Arduinos, um, you can get rid of most of this stuff. This is actually a way that you can run one of these chips without an Arduino.